Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Today I get to share with you the 10 cards that I made with the Simon Says Stamp December 2018 card kit. Now the kit did sell out, but I'm going to show you quickly what came in it. Some of the items are available individually, um, so if you're interested I'll leave links below. Starting with the cardstock, you get a schoolhouse red, a green leaf, and an 8.5 by 11 sheet of Nina. You also get three um, Audrey Blue note cards, and they're pre-scored for you, so all you do is fold them in half to create your note cards. They're A2 in size. You also get three metallic envelopes, Audrey Blue, a metallic white, and a metallic schoolhouse red. You get two note cards that are watercolor um, cardstock, so you can use your watercolors with that. You get 12 pattern papers from Cartabella, and this is called the Santa's Workshop Collection. They're double-sided, super fun, kind of vintage-y, so um, really pretty. And you get 12 of those. Along with that, you get um, two 6x13 sheets of stickers, and these are um, heavy stickers, so they're not just thin stickers, but they coordinate with the uh, pattern papers beautifully. It's from the same collection, Santa's Workshop, so fun items there. You also get your stamp set. Your stamp set is huge. It's six by eight. A lot of fun images in here. You get stamps, snowflakes, Christmas trees. You get, even get Santa, which he's my favorite. He is super cute. So you get that. You also get four um, samples of the Daniel Smith watercolor um, dots. All you do is add your water and then um, you can color away. You get four different colors and they coordinate beautifully with the pattern papers. So you get this. Also included is your dies. You get, this is a three piece set. Um, one candy cane, a bow, and then a little centerpiece for your bow. You get some, well I'm just going super fast, ain't I? <laughs> but you get sequins, you get some festive berries, distress oxide ink, and then you get a little red tag. So that's everything. We're going to jump in and get started with our first card. I'm going to take Santa from the stamp set. We're going to stamp him on some Nina 80 pound card stock. And we're going to ink him up with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'm just going to color him in. And while I'm at it, I'm going to stamp him also on a piece of Inkity Gadoo's masking paper. We're going to do a little masking for our first card. So we'll ink him up one more time and stamp on the masking paper. Now since the video did run long, I just skipped the coloring, but um, I fussy cut out my mask, and I, I fussy cut it out in sections, and then I did color in my Santa. Once we have that done, I'm going to take my mask and start masking off my Santa. Now I didn't color in his um, naughty and nice list just yet. Um, I'm going to do something a little special with that. I'm going to cover my Santa. Um, using the negative piece of the, that I cut out and then also the positive piece. We're going to use this mask um, twice. So all I have left now is my um, Naughty and Nice list on Santa here. I thought it'd be fun to add some lettering to the, le uh, the Santa list. So using the Christmas cheer stamp, it's on the smaller side, I'm inking it up with my black ink and stamping a few times on the top portion of the list and then I'm going to do it a few times towards the end of the list. This is going to give my list a little bit more texture and a little added funness. And your lines don't have to be perfect with this either. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to add a little bit of interest to his little nice and naughty list. <laughs> Now once we have the lettering down, we'll remove the mask, but I'm going to keep, um, we'll remove the negative portion of the mask, but I'm going to keep Santa masked off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and color in my nice and naughty list, just using some warm grays. Starting off with my W2, I believe. I'll color it in and then I'll do a little shading with my W4. And I think the, the words just add, um, right now it doesn't look like much, but once you um, remove the entire mask, I think it turned out super cute. Now, once we have our list colored in, we're all finished with the coloring. I'm going to mask off the list and Santa. Now, in the stamp set, there's a snowflake 
uh, or snowfall background. I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp watermark ink and I'm going to stamp that snowflake all, all along the background of this panel. And since we have the mask on there, I can go right over the Santa. So we're going to have some snowfall all over our panel. I added some white embossing powder and I went ahead and melted that. Now I melted it um, with the mask on there and the mask started lifting up a little bit. But um, I'm going to do a little ink blending over the top and I just had to hold down my mask a little bit. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide. This is tumbled glass. And I'll just do a little shading over the entire background. And I switched my glass mat. I switched from my glass mat and to my regular black mat. And so I started to blend directly on my regular black mat. <laughs> and um, I switched because the glare. Whenever I filmed videos, it was really hard. It was messing with the colors in my lining with the glass mat. That glare, um, I love my glass mat, but the glare was a little too much for filming the, the tutorials. But once I have my background all colored in, I intensified him right around Santa. I'm going to remove the entire mask. And I just love the effect that this has. And I missed the little spot, so I'm going to go back in with my blending tool. Okay, I'm going to take a stitch rectangle die and cut out a panel um, for Santa. And then I did add a piece of the diagonal stripe paper on the very bottom. And then just to break it up a bit, I brought in some Nina Desert Storm craft card stock that I had in my stash. I'm going to add some black and or red and white baker's twine over the Nina card stock. We'll just tie a bow to the left. We'll straighten it out and then I did add fun foam behind it and we're going to place that on the Audrey Blue card base and that finishes off card number one. Super fun, super cute. Here's some close-ups. <laughs> okay, now for card number two, we are going to do a fairly simple card but in the pattern paper there is this sheet with all the lines on it. We're going to use one of those little scenes along with the red and, and white snowflake pattern paper. I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim out one of the strips. And when I cut this one out, I'm actually leaving the red border on it. So this um, little scene has a red border. Okay, I'm going to place that on my snowflake paper and then taking a stitched rectangle die, I'm going to cut out my panel. I'm gonna, I like stitching all the way around, so I layer them together and then I run it through my die cut machine. Now I wanted to add a little bit more of the craft. I thought the craft paper went really good with this kit, so I use it quite often. But I'm going to take a little scallop border die. This is from Lawn Fun. I'm going to cut out a small scallop border to mat behind my little scene here. I just use my tape runner to adhere it. So I have a little bit of the craft peeking out on the top and then I have the scalloped edge on the bottom. Any excess overhanging, I'm just going to trim off. We'll flip this over and add some foam tape behind here. And we'll go ahead and add that to our snowflake panel towards the bottom. Lovely. Okay, for my sentiment, I wanted to use the Noel and this little cut apart sheet. So I'm just going to block it off and cut it out. I'm going to mat that on a piece of the craft card stock as well. So it has a little bit of the craft border around it. Next, I'm going to grab my crocodile. We're going to punch a hole in the center of our little sentiment. And then I'm going to use a white eyelet. And we'll add that to the hole that we punched. Next, I'm going to take some white jute cord. We'll just trim down a little piece and then I'll loop that through my sentiment. And then we'll put a piece of foam tape behind our sentiment and attach that right above our little scene there. A little bit wonky. We'll flip our twine behind our panel and tape it down. 
and then we'll trim off the excess. And then I thought we'll take the excess and tie a little bow. So our bow will be doubled up. I'm going to secure it right above our sentiment using a glue dot. Lovely. We're going to trim the tails of our twine just a little bit. And then we're going to flip over this panel. We're going to remove our tape there. And then I just use my tape runner to adhere that to my white card base. For a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to go in with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. And these are Gold Coast. And I went over um, the background panel as well um, in this little snowflakes. I added some gold accent. Okay, moving along to card number three. We're going to create a gingerbread. I love gingerbread during the holidays. They're probably my favorite. I just love them. But I'm just using a pencil to mark um, where I need my cut lines. I cut out a panel that's three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then the stripe paper is going to go right inside that panel. Basically, we're matting the diagonal stripe on our white cardstock there. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a tag die that I had my stash. This is an MFT tag die, and it's, I believe, from the, the tags blueprint um, set. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But it's awful pretty. It has a scalloped edge on the very bottom. I'm going to cut that out with my craft cardstock. And then it also has a um, tag reinforcer. I'm going to cut that out with craft as well. I'm going to cut out a piece for the top with white cardstock. We'll just run that through the die cut machine and cut all of our pieces out. Once everything is all cut out, I'm going to use my glue and add a little bit to the craft reinforcement. A little circle piece there. Lovely. Okay, now I wanted to add some snowflakes in the background, so I'm going to use my Hero Arts Unicorn. It's a pigment ink. It's white, and using a small snowflake that's in the stamp set, I'm going to stamp a snowflake background. Um, the Unicorn ink does pull back a little bit, but it does have a real soft, snowy effect. Okay, I'm going to take the top of my tag. We're going to add a little dimension to it. So using some foam tape, I'm going to add a strip to the very top and then also a strip right on the bottom. We'll just remove the release paper and add that to the top portion of our tag. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. Sentiment, there's a... Oh, no, we're going to add some twine. This is some... Uh, teal colored baker's twine. I thought it matched the Audrey blue cardstock beautifully. So I threaded that through my tag and then now we're going to stamp our sentiment. We're going to stamp Merry Christmas just using some Versifying Onyx Black ink. And I stamped it all the way to the left of my tag. Next we grabbed our little gingerbread who was super adorable. And then I took one of the candy canes in the sticker sheet and added that to his little hand. We just placed him right next to our sentiment and then I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape and add that to my tag. I'm also going to add foam tape behind my tag and we're just going to go ahead and place this on our stripe panel. I like to tie my bows after I adhere um, my tags to my project because it's, it's stationary and it's easier for me to tie a bow. <laughs> Okay, we'll trim our ribbon or our twine ends there. And then I did add a piece of fun foam behind my panel and I placed that on another one of the Audrey Blue card bases. For a little sparkle, I'm going to go in with some um, Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are White Blizzard. It's a real pretty iridescent. And I added a little bit of sparkle. And that finishes off my gingerbread card. Here's some close-ups. Super cute. Okay, moving along to our next card. We're going to make kind of a masculine card for the, for the guys in our life. <laughs> I'm going to use the truck, the largest truck in the sticker sheet, and then also the Christmas tree that kind of matches the one in the truck. I cut out a piece of vellum. Now the vellum size is two and a half inches by three and a half inches, and I stuck down my tree directly on my vellum. 
I'm adding some foam tape behind my track. Once I add um, foam tape behind my track, there's still some sticky areas. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool and just go around the sticky areas just to get rid of all that tackiness. Okay, now before we adhere our track, we're going to stamp our sentiment. I chose the sentiment that says sending Christmas cheer. We stamped that with VersaFine ink on the vellum and then I did go over it with some clear embossing powder. Now it's not as uh, vibrant as black embossing powder, but I still think it looks real pretty. I went ahead and used my tape runner to adhere my vellum. I adhered my vellum on the very bottom and then behind the tree so you can see my, my tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my truck right on the bottom. Um, I'm using the truck pattern paper for my background and the size of that is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Um, I wanted to ground my truck so I brought in a strip of the Nina cardstock again. I really think this card, uh, the Nina, the craft cardstock goes really well with the pattern papers in this kit. I just placed it on the bottom and I'm going to trim off the excess. Lovely. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little sparkle with some Nuvo Glitter Drops. Not too much. <laughs> um, this is Gold Coast. And I did pop up that panel with a piece of fun foam and place that on the Schoolhouse Red card base. And that finishes off that one. Okay, moving along. We are going to make a candy cane card for this one. This is card number five. Now, I um, cut out two candy canes and I did cut them out with white cardstock, but before I ran them through my die cut machine, I added a piece of double sided um, adhesive. So it just makes everything a little bit easier. And I'm taking the same Nina Desert Storm craft card stock and I'm going to cut out a fishtail banner in a circle. I'm also going to cut out my little bow for my candy canes using some red glitter card stock. Um, I used that same red, red glitter card stock and cr um, created a panel that I'm going to um, use as a background for my pattern paper there. Using my Copic marker, I just colored in my candy cane. Now, using my craft pick, I'm going to flip flop the pieces. So the white pieces are going to go in the red colored candy cane that I used with my Copic marker. And then my red one is going to go in the white one. Now, I only used the candy cane with the red um, with the red border. That's the, the whiter candy cane I'm going to save for another card. I decided to remove the release paper and I'm going to place my candy cane. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my craft circle here. And then this way I can inlay the pieces. I think that made a little more sense. <laughs> I was trying to inlay them on, on the release paper. So it's kind of double work. So I fix that. Now I'm just going to add all my white pieces to my red background. And then I did the same thing with the other one. I was kind of debating whether I should trim off one of the candy canes so I have two different colors, but ended up just leaving the white candy canes on my craft. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my gingham pattern paper to my glitter background. Now, the size of that um, pattern paper was three inches by four and a quarter. And then the glitter paper was a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to pop up my candy canes and we're going to place that on our background panel here. Lovely. Okay, for my sentiment, we are going to use the Merry Christmas again. I'm just going to stamp it with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas all the way to the left. And then I'm also going to stamp to you and yours all the way to the right. Um, originally, I was just thinking my bow will fit right in the center of my sentiments, but it, my bow was a little bit too wide. So I ended up just taking out that center piece. I'm going to add a little bit of tape behind my glittery bow, and then I'll go ahead and attach my um, Merry Christmas to the left and then to you and yours to the right, right behind my bow. This is going to make it fit beautifully and um, I like the outcome. Okay, 
um, my tag's overhanging, so I'm just going to trim off the pieces that are showing behind my bow. And then I do add a piece of foam tape behind here. And we're going to place that right in the center of our candy canes. We'll take this panel and place that on a white card base. And I'm going to leave it at that. I think it turned out kind of clean and simple, but really pretty with that glitter. That finished off card number five. Okay, for card number six, I wanted to use the stamp, and so I'm just using one of them. This is from the stamp set. I'm going over a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm going to take this one stamp, and I'm going to stamp it four times, kind of making sure that they're evenly spaced. Um, they were a, a slightly crooked, but I, I think it wasn't that much of a, a, a difference to re-stamp. But once I have them stamped, I stamped with VersaFine ink, so it's still sticky. I'm going to go over my stamp with some green embossing powder. This is Ranger's Moss um, embossing powder. Using my heat gun, I'm going to go ahead and melt that. Now I took a piece of the masking paper and went over the centers of my stamp. Um, I want to do a little bit more ink blending using the Festive Berries that came in the kit. Now I went over my background panel. And then I added a little bit of water using my Distress Sprayer. We're going to dab off the excess. We're going to activate that ink behind there, and then we'll remove the mask. So we have a red background, and then the center of our stamps are green or white with a little bit of a green background. Something a little different. I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and cut out my panel here. And now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm using a sentiment that says sending, um, sending Christmas cheer. Uh, I want it to go lengthways, so I'm actually masking off the cheer with some washi tape. I'm going to remove my washi tape and I'll stamp sending Christmas. And then I'll clean off that top portion really good and then I'll dry it off with a towel. And then I'm going to mask off the area that we just stamped and then I'll ink up the, the chair. This way I can have a, a sentiment that goes lengthwise instead of um, stacked on top of each other. And I just trimmed down this panel with my paper trimmer and I added foam tape behind it and I attached that to my stamped background. We're going to mat that on a slightly larger piece of white cardstock just to make it pop. And then using my tape runner we'll adhere that panel to our uh, green leaf card base. Now for bells and whistles, we're just going to trim off the excess here. I didn't want to do too much because we had that distressed background. Um, so I decided to bring in my Nuvo Jewel Drops. Now this is autumn red and there's little berries that are in the stamps. I'm just going to add a little bit of red berry dimension <laughs> on those stamps. And that completes that card. Kind of simple, but very pretty. Here's some close-ups. Okay, moving along to card number seven. This one's going to be super duper easy. I wanted to use this piece left over from one of the earlier cards. I just used my pencil to mark off where I need to trim it. Now this one has the hole. Um, that's there's a good part about um, the paper pad companies adding or leaving that top portion of the six by six um, pattern papers on there because you get that little extra half inch, but you do have a little hole there. But I'm going to cover it up with some stickers. So anyway <laughs> i'm already building my scene i added the the christmas tree sticker to my background and you can see i cut out a snow bank using a hillside border die i just placed that in the bottom of the panel now i'm going to take some foam tape and add that behind my little um, direction sign and we're going to place that to the right of our panel this covers up that that hole that i was talking about earlier i added three candy canes to the bottom I like adding candy canes to the, my little heel sides. Once we have that done, we're just going to tape down this panel to our, our 
schoolhouse red card base and then for a little bit of sparkle I'm going to take some Nuvo glitter drops these are white blizzard and I'm going to add some glittery Christmas bulbs to our tree and then there's a little snowfall on each one of those little signs I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to those as well and that finishes off card number seven super easy but super cute <laughs> Here's some close-ups for this card. Okay, moving along to card number eight. I'm going to use this pattern paper here and going over it with my anti-static powder bag. And there's the largest snowflake in the stamp set. I'm only going to use this one. I'm going to use my Simon Says um, watermark ink and I'm going to stamp a snowfall background. So just using that super large, beautiful snowflake. Once we have all of our snowflakes stamped, I'm going to go over each one of those with some white embossing powder. And then using my heat gun, I'll melt my embossed areas there. Aren't those such pretty snowflakes? I'm going to use a strip of the red and white diagonal stripe paper once more. I'm going to use my tape runner, I adhere that to my snowflake, pan snowflake panel, but I wanted it um, to be a little bit more full of snowflakes, so I trimmed off a little piece. Once we have our stripe paper adhered, I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die, cut out my panel. This one was a little too large, I'm going to use a slightly smaller one. And then we have stitched lines all around both pattern papers there. <laughs> okay, I did add a piece of um, natural colored jute cord. The natural colored jute cord is um, almost the same color as the Nina craft card stock. So um, I think it goes really well. I added some fun foam behind this panel and I did use the, the twine and tie a bow over the seam of both my pattern papers. Now for this card all I'm going to do is take this little sticker that says greetings from the North Pole. Um, I did add some fun foam behind it and place that at a diagonal on my panel and then we're going to add a little sparkle with some more of the white blizzard glitter drops. Super easy and you can customize it. Um, I didn't know what number to put in that little blank square that says days until Christmas because I didn't know um, when the recipient was going to get it, so I left it kind of blank. Okay, now we're already moving on to card number nine. Um, usually with the kits, when they included when they include the watercolor um, note cards, I always try, I avoid them. But for this kit, I thought, you know what, I'm going to color it in just using the dot palette that was included. Um, that yellow is almost a brownish goldish toned yellow and I did a little mixing for the colors to create the antlers and a little bit of shading. If you mix the green and the red together it creates a darker brown and so that's what I did um, to add a little bit of darker tone for the antlers. I'm going to use the red to color in my Jingle Bell sentiment. And then we're going to do a little bit more um, more shading with the brown. For the background and the snowy hills, I'm going to use the blue. And I'm, I, I don't know if I told you, but I'm just using my water brush to do this. Here's where I'm mixing the red and the green to create that darker brown. Just to give a little bit of shading. Now, once the painting is done, I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and cut out my panel. And I actually, my my little red-nosed reindeer um, kind of bled all over the place on that white area on the top. And I couldn't get it off, so I decided to cut it off. <laughs> so I'm taking my scissors and I'm fussy cutting, starting from that very last hill. I'm going to fussy cut around the reindeer's head in that last tree. And once we have that fussy cut out, I took Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink 
and went around the edges of my entire background panel. This way I don't have any harsh um, white edges and it cleans up my fussy cutting also. I added foam tape behind that panel and placed that on my Audrey, my, my last Audrey Blue card base. I'm going to add some Gold Coast glitter to my little reindeer's jingle bells and that finishes off my card. Super duper easy. Oh, I did use a white gel pen and went over the freckles on my phone. <laughs> okay, final card today. I want to use this Christmas tree, card number 10. I'm going to stamp it with my intense black ink. And I'm going to just going to use my Copic markers to color it in. Originally, I was going to leave the coloring in, but the video was already running long, so I just kind of skipped over the coloring. But I left the little um, Christmas bulbs on the tree white. Um, we're going to make a shaker card for this one. So I cut out a circle inside of a square panel. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I chose Merry Christmas. We'll go ahead and stamp the Merry and, and then we'll stamp the Christmas. They're two separate words. So in two separate fonts too. Sometimes it's a little tricky for me to um, stamp straight when they're two different fonts, but I think I got it. Okay, I'm going to use some score tape. I'll place that behind the circle, um, behind my panel here. We're going to go ahead and add some acetate. The acetate that I like to use is from Hero Arts. They come in 5x7 sheets. And it's um, not your typical acetate. It's, it's really easy to cut, and that's why I like it. But I'm going to place a piece behind my window. And then I'm going to double up on my 3M foam tape. And I went around my circle and also the background of my panel there. Now I wanted to use the sequins. Now these are these are eight millimeter sequins, so they're a lot um, almost double the size of a standard size sequin. So I added a few directly on my card base. And then to break up that color a little bit, I'm going to use even larger ones sequins that I had in my stash so that were white. And then I did add the standard size red ones that I had in my stash. So we have a little bit of a mix. We have the green, the red, and the white. I just placed that panel on my card base and added my Christmas tree and I did go ahead and use my Gold Coast Nouveau Glitter Drops over those ornaments on that tree um, and I thought I was done but it looked a little bit too plain for me so I took a piece of red cardstock in two circle dies and created a circle frame. Um, I just cut out the bottom portion I'm kind of cheating a little bit but I had everything taped down and then I did have the Nouveau Glitter Drops on there so I didn't want to take the chance of smearing them so I just cut out that bottom piece of my circle frame and I'm just kind of placing it over my shaker window. And I think this broke it up a little bit better. And then that finishes off my final card for today, guys. Now we're going to take a look at all 10 cards that I made today with the Simon Says Stamp Kit. And again, um, the stamp set, I know for sure the cardstock, the envelopes, everything is sold individually over at... Um, Simon's and if I can find the sticker sheet I'll link that below for you guys as well but this was a super fun kit um, mine kind of arrived late I think uh, we have snail mail over here and so um, I just got it a couple days ago but I wanted to get this out before Christmas to give you guys some ideas on how to create some Christmas cards thanks so much for stopping by guys I hope this gives you some different ideas on how to use the kit that's what I like to do when I create my 10 cards but have a wonderful day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.